several roads will be closed as construction crews work. Our Brendan King joins us live to explain what neighbors in the fan district need to know so their vehicles stay safe. Brendan. Absolutely, Candace. For the next five days, starting tomorrow, if you typically park on the streets that surround the Lee statue, you must find alternative parking. I also found out today that this is a bigger inconvenience for some families than others. On an average day, finding parking in Richmond's fan district can be tough. These signs warn drivers of a pending monumental mission and to move their cars by Tuesday night. No one's trying to say that the statues were not here. They just don't belong. Jim Ludwig lives a block from the six stories tall General Robert E. Lee statue that the state plans to take down on Wednesday. I have a couple spots out back and it's, um, you know, sort of a civic thing to ensure that everybody's safe. Starting 6 p.m. Tuesday, the city will restrict all parking on roads within a one mile radius of the Confederate statue, about 47 acres of property to ensure a smooth and safe removal of the massive 12 ton statue that has stood since 1890. It's a long time coming and there are a lot of people that wanted it done and there are a lot of people that did it. But I think everyone's going to breathe a sigh of relief when it is done. Many homeowners in this area have backyard or alley parking. Some renters, though, will have a tougher time finding temporary spots. One woman who rents on Monument Avenue tells me she's decided to purchase a $120 parking pass in a nearby garage so her car doesn't get towed this week. I think it is overdue. I am not apprehensive at all. I think that it's the right thing to do. The city also plans to close the streets that lead to the Lee statue on Tuesday night, both sides of Monument Avenue and North Allen Avenue. Minor inconvenience to do the right thing is easy. And all day we've watched dozens of people park their cars here on Monument Avenue, walk up to the fencing, taking photos, even snapping selfies with the Confederate statue. These individuals real, realize and recognize that there's not much more time left to see Lee standing top of Monument Avenue.